This is Corey, and this reef is her home. She was born here and grew up to be a healthy, strong coral. Corey has a best friend, an algae called Zui. Zui lives in Corey's home, and in return, Zui provides Corey with energy captured from the sun. But today, Corey is very sick. The waters that she lives in have become hotter and hotter with climate change. A recent heat wave has given the coral fever, and Zoe has to leave. Corey is now a very sick and bleached coral. Conservation scientists around the world are trying to find a solution as how they can save Corey and the reefs that she and her friends live on. Scientists at the Wildlife Conservation Society have developed a simple and quick method to collect coral health information during bleaching events. The only tools needed are a pencil and a dive slate. On each survey, the divers visualize a square meter called a quadrat and record the types of corals and severity of bleaching and note the data onto the slate. They then move to another quadrat, completing up to 20 quadrats and can count over hundreds of coral colonies on a dive. Back on the surface, the scientists transfer the data to a common template and send it to another Wildlife Conservation Society scientist, who will then aggregate and share the information so that all the scientists have access to it within just a few days. Any scientist can contribute to the survey, and since the start of the 2016 coral bleaching event, over 240 surveys have been completed. Using this information, the scientists have counted over 60,000 colonies like Cori, and have found more than half of the corals are sick and have bleached. But some places have escaped bleaching. These are reefs of hope. Coral reefs that have escaped superheated waters with limited bleaching. Why? The inhabitants might be strong and resilient corals that have found a way to cope with the rising water temperatures. Or corals in reefs of hope might be exposed to cooler waters from deeper canyons or swirling ocean gyros or eddies. So what about Cori and Zoe? Back on the reef, Cori's water have cooled down and she is reunited with Zoe. But there are signs that the hot waters and the coral fever will come back. Scientists may not be able to save Cory, but they are learning about Reefs of Hope, where Cory's babies can survive. By identifying Reefs of Hope and working with the local communities to protect them, Cory and Zuri's families have the best chance to survive coral fever and climate change. Join our work and contribute to the global database of bleaching records so we can keep quarries and other reefs of hope around the world safe and healthy. They are important safe havens for future generations of coral reefs. For further information on the Wildlife Conservation Society Global Survey, please visit wcs.org coral.